In this video, we are going to be creating three African Wonder Kids to see who, and if any, can win the Ballon d'Or. In the history of the Ballon d'Or, only one African player has ever won it. And this is our first player, Gabonese international, Frank Nzamba. I'm going to be honest, the pronunciations are going to be horrid, so you're going to have to stick with me here. He plays in the Ludogrets under-19 in Bulgaria, and he is a striker, and they are all strikers, because as you know, it's easiest to do it with strikers, because they're easy to compare. For our second player, Chik Nadimba. That's a fantastic name. The Malian international. He plays for Vancouver Football Club in the Canadian Premier League, and of course, is a striker. And the last one, Pedro Lemos, the Angolian, plays for the Golden Arrows under-19s in South Africa. So now you've met the three hopeful potential GOATs. Let's get through their career and see just how it plays out and pray the Lord above that one of them, preferably all of them, can win a Ballon d'Or. And now it has been one season in this save. I forgot to mention they all obviously have 200 potential, but they also start at 80 current ability. And as you can see, Pedro and Frank have made great progress hitting 94 and 93, but Chekna is falling behind. In terms of their player stats, Frank is yet to play a game for the Ludogrets first team, but he has played a lot of games in the Youth Academy and played for their third team. In terms of Chekna, he has been playing for Vancouver. That is massive for the youngster, as he now has 26 career appearances for Vancouver FC. They do sit fourth. He's doing okay. He scored a few goals, but hopefully in the future, he can really start to cook. Pedro has also not played a game yet for the Golden Arrows, but for some reason, he's played 67 youth appearances games <laughs> okay and he scored 48 goals at his uh, fantastic return also Chigna has made his debut for the under 20 Malian team with five appearances and two under 20 goals so far with the other two players not making appearance yet but that's it for the first season let's keep going hasn't made his appearance yet for the Ludicrous first team he played for the second team this season still scoring a few goals which is good he's made his first international appearance for his country getting one cap so far Pedro is also in the same boat also getting his first senior cap for Angolia and he has started to break into the first team for the South African side Golden Arrows two starts this season in the league scoring two goals and Chekna who has played many games for Vancouver continues to play many games as well and he's also increased his under 20 caps for his nation but yet to have a senior appearance and another season has been completed and as you can see we have our first ever transfer as Chick Nadimba has made his way to England. He has signed for Manchester City for 525000 after making plenty of appearances in Canada, but obviously yet to make an appearance for Man City, as you would fully expect. And he has actually won the Under-21 Premier League Player of the Month already in his career, which is fantastic to see. And as you can see here in his milestones, he also broke the Vancouver FC record for goals scored in a season with 10. He's a record breaker, but obviously his current ability is still lower than the other the two players but Frank has hit 109 but Pedro has overtaken him with 110 I'm not sure whether it's Frank or Frank um, I'm going to start calling him Frank, I think. I think that's right. But he is still yet to make a senior appearance for Ludogrets for the first team. He absolutely cooked for the second, scoring 15 goals in 30 games. And he has got his first international goal, as you can see, five caps, one goal. And that match was against Cameroon in the Africa Cup of Nations, which they unfortunately got knocked out in the group stage. Pedro has yet to score a goal for his country, only having that one appearance so far. But for the Golden Arrows, he got six goals in 24 appearances this time started a lot more games starting 12 on the bench for 12 it's a better return but that's another season done and we will see how Chikna does at Manchester City it will be hard to make any game time but hold on a second for some reason he's been playing games at defensive minute right back I'm not sure why they would think to do that but uh let's hope that's not a permanent thing and another season has been completed. And as you can see, Chekna has caught up to the other players. 117 current ability with Pedro only leading the two by one. But as you can see, a few moves have happened here. Chekna, as we know, moved to Manchester City. He went on loan to a Denmark side. I would not be able to pronounce that. Scoring two goals, getting 14 appearances, which is not too bad. He is still yet to have an international appearance for the senior side, which is unfortunate. In terms of Frank, he has finally broken into the first team's scoring eight goals and 19 appearances for Ludogrets. And he has got two goals to his name for Gabon, which is brilliant. And as you can see, Ludogrets won the league as well. So he's won his first ever trophy, senior trophy, I should say, as Ludogrets have won it for like, as you can see, like 50 years in a row, like Jesus. <laughs> 
And now, as we can see, Pedro is on loan at Hull City. He did manage to get his second appearance for Angolia, but he's on loan from Manchester City. They've sniped another one of our African wonder kids to at Man City now. They bought him for 350k, loaned him to Hull City in the championship, and he's already playing games in championship, which is actually quite impressive. Two goals in his 12 appearances for this season, and he may just cook a little bit here. All right, massive upgrades have happened after this season. Frank has hit 131. Chechnya has hit 128. Pedro is now the third worst out of them. Pedro moved on loan to Sheffield Wednesday in the championship and played the same amount of games, only 12, three goals, one assist. It's a little bit of a stale season, but he has managed to get a lot more Angolian caps, now on seven with three goals. Frank has had a fantastic season at Ludogritz, nine goals, one assist in 24 appearances with an average rating of 7.01, fantastic. And he is wanted by a few big clubs in world football, Inter and Real Sociedad, the main ones. He may be on the move. And look at those stats. Oh, my Lord. He's a beautiful specimen. And, of course, Ludogritz won the league, so it's back-to-back -back trophies. Nice. Stat padding. Chechnya, on the other hand, no loan, but hold on a second. He has made two appearances off the bench for Manchester City and three off the bench in the cup. Absolutely fantastic. He's actually breaking into the Manchester City side very, very slightly, but fantastic. And in terms of his international, wow. Five caps, three goals for Mali. Considering he was the lowest in the first couple of seasons, current ability, he is starting to improve very fast. And well, as you can see, the African combinations happened. I completely forgot they happened in January. So I was like confused. But as you can see, there has been a few appearances by Chechnya for Mali. Unfortunately, they lose in the semi-final, losing on penalties to Ivory Coast, which is unfortunate. But Chechnya did play a part in this tournament. And unfortunately, Angolia lost the final. But Pedro did make a few appearances sprinkled in over this tournament, but he was not involved in the finals. Ivory Coast knocked out two of our African players to lift the African Nations Cup. And into another season, and Chechnya is cooking. 147 current ability. Chechnya Demba is on fire. But also there's more news as well. Inter Milan have signed Frank, which we, at the end of last season, that they were rumored, but he actually moved there. But let's have a look at this. Starting off with Frank, obviously having a fantastic season season with Ludogratz moving for 4.5 million and he's been playing oh my god these guys are actually so good we did another wonder kid video previously and they did not do it like this he is starting for Inter Milan 18 appearances one goal this season a few appearances in Europe few appearances in the cup but majority of them coming off the bench as you would expect and he's now had 24 caps for Gabon with nine goals fantastic stuff Pedro, on the other hand, is really starting to fall down. Another season without enough game time for Pedro to develop. He's got a few more goals, a few more appearances for Angola, but his development is slacking. And whose development is not slacking? This man right here, Chik Nadimba. 19 goals in the championship this season. That's a fantastic return for his first full season in the championship. 40 appearances for Watford. And as you can see in the top goal scorers, Dimba finished in third top scorer for the league. Unfortunately, what did finish 10th, so he couldn't lead them to promotion glory. But it's a fantastic season. Another season done and more moves have happened. Another season done and Pedro, my friend. You've got a leaf. You've got, that's what I've got to see here. 122 again. That's two seasons in a row. He's stuck at 122 current ability. Chechnya as well, I do believe was at 147, wasn't he? I can't remember 100%, but I do believe he was in the 140s. But Chechnya did start a few games for Manchester City and that's probably why he didn't develop as much. He wasn't out on loan. Five appearances off the bench in the Premier League and two off off the bench in the Champions League, but one goal. He's got his first goal for Manchester City. That's fantastic. Now, look at that record for Mali. 16 caps, 15 goals. That is what I'm talking about. One of these guys are winning the Ballon d'Or. I absolutely believe in it. Obviously, Pedro, he made a couple appearances for Manchester City, but unfortunately, his game time, he's only made 86 appearances in his career so far. It's really lacking. And Frank was loaned out to Atalanta in the Serie A for the season, and he had a fantastic season. Oh my lord, 19 goals in the Serie A with one assist and 34 appearances. That's brilliant. And as you can see, he's loaned from Inter, but joining permanently. So he is moving to Atalanta. I'm not sure for how much. Oh, here you go. Mandatory future fee of 24.5 million. Will Inter Milan regret that? I think they will. As Atalanta finished in fifth and Frank got third in the top scorers. What a player we have in our hands here. So another AFCON was played. I don't know. This is every two years, I guess. I didn't expect that. None of our players made it into anywhere special. They all got knocked out very early on. And it is World Cup year. 
But unfortunately, none of our players' countries made it into the World Cup, which is a shame. But one day, I believe one of them will carry their nation to some international glory, whether that be AFCON, whether that be making it somewhere in the World Cup, semi-final maybe, something historic would be lovely. And Pedro may be leaving Manchester City by the looks of it. Um, and Frank, again, having fantastic season. I can see 161 current ability. He's very close to being a world-class player. Chikna, again, not enough growth for my liking as he only played three appearances for Man City in the league. And again, it's just a lack of game time. Who's the Man City manager? Luis Enrique, play our boy. I don't care about Erling Haaland. Play the African GOAT. In terms of Pedro, another season with no game time, which is why he is not developing. And it looks like his contract is expiring, so he may be leaving the club for free, which is the best news. There's a few clubs wanting him. Watford want him, Genoa want him, but who knows where he will go. We'll find out next season. Let's pray he does not sign an extension. And with Frank, it's another fantastic season for Atalanta after his permanent move, after his loan. 15 goals, 5 assists, 38 appearances. Fantastic. Another season done, and we have some moves. Finally. Okay, Let's have a look at this. Chechnya developed a bit, and he got a good loan move to Rennes in France. 13 appearances, 7 goal, 1 assist, 7.31 average rating. Fantastic from Chechnya. They do have an optional future fee of 69 million. Uh, I doubt they're going to be paying that, but I hope they do. Pedro ended up moving to FC Mets in League 1, and whoa! What a season from Pedro! 20 goals and 2 assists in 34 appearances. Oh my god. And they got relegated. They finished last last place and Pedro scored 20 goals he got the second top scorer Pedro this is what I'm talking about the comebacks on for his career he's about to cook and Frank with another fantastic season 19 goals five assists and again, another AFCON has happened. But unfortunately, none of our players made it very far. But as you can see, Demba finished second top scorer with five goals for Mali. I'd love to see his record. He has 32 goals in 32 caps. Fantastic. And I've also seen Rene's won the French Cup. Here you go, Czech Nadimba scored in the final against Lyon and he gets his first real trophy because he wasn't really a player for Manchester City, but now he was a starting player for Rennes and he's won a trophy. Another season done and Czech Nadimba's at Rennes. Don't tell me they actually paid that money for him. Pedro's grown a bit, Czech Nadimba's grown a bit, Frank has grown a bit. This is, I'm liking this. Let's start with Pedro, second season and he stayed at Mets, scored 19 goals, 5 assists in Ligue 2, 7.14 average rating and it's a fantastic season. He's a Mets really signed an absolute African gem. And he is wanted by a few clubs. Uh, UAE club wants him and Cardiff in the Premier League. Well, and unfortunately, um, Mets didn't get promoted somehow. Even though they have the greatest player of all time, they've somehow not been promoted. So maybe a move is definitely on for him. And Czech Nadimba, actually, they actually paid 69 million. Rene's. Oh my God, I love you. He's moved. And look at that. His form did not change. 21 goals, 5 assists in Ligue 1 for Czech Nadimba. He's a goal scorer. I love it. And Rene's actually managed to finish second. And Dimba, as you can see, top scorer with 21 goals. And Frank with another fantastic season. 23 goals, 3 assists. With an average rating of 7.24, which is outstanding. And now players are 26 years of age. They're starting to get on in their careers. And for some reason, Pedro's moved to UAE. I think he's taken the paycheck. Pedro moved to UAE club. I'm not pronouncing that. For nearly 20 million. Scoring 18 goals, 7 assists, and 26 appearances. Nearly having an average rating of 8. And I'm not surprised. He's earning 76,000 a week, which is pretty good. And he is wanted by PSG and... Re whoa, whoa, imagine. Imagine. Imagine he joins his African legend... And Czech Nadimba at Rene's. Oh my god, that'd be fantastic. And Czech Nadimba having a fantastic season again. Not as many goals as last season, but that is fine. Rene's finishing in third. Lil won the title. Oh my god, PSG, what has happened? And Dimba getting second in the top scorers. And Frank, oh my god, he's peaked. 30 goals and 4 assists in the league. Fantastic season. Absolutely brilliant. 7.36 average rating. And he's wanted by Manchester City and Bayern. At least Gabon made it to an AFCON. This is the first time they've made it in many years. They did absolutely nothing, though, unfortunately. As Senegal won it over Ivory Coast, and these two are just dominating. Demba gets top scorer again, but none of our players managed to make it past the quarterfinal. And it is World Cup yet, and as you can see, Group A and Gola are here. Pedro has led the nation to a World Cup. 
And he is the only player of our three Wonder Kids that are here. And I'll be interested to see how they do. Unfortunately, Angola finished bottom of their group and they were knocked out. That's really unfortunate. They scored four goals, though. He probably all came from the GOAT Pedro. With Pedro scoring a brace and a 2-1 win over Japan in the first game. But unfortunately, they lost 4-1 to Uruguay and 2-1 to Sweden and got knocked out. With Italy winning the World Cup, beating Portugal in the final. Now, in terms of our players, Frank did make the move. He moved to Manchester City for 200, 200, 208 million. And this is this is actually outrageous. I'm just, he didn't start a league game. Manchester City have paid 208 million for Frank and not even started him. I can't believe that. I actually can't believe it. He made three total starts, 208 million. And they spent 250 million. This is a side quest on Lamal, who who is cooking. 200, bro, <laughs> how much are these guys spending? And into Chechnya, another fantastic season in Rene's colors. 20 goals for him. But unfortunately, there's going to be no Champions League football for Denver unless he moves because they finished in fifth. He got third in the top scorers. And he is wanted by PSG and Inter Milan. Pedro decided to stay another season in UAE. Obviously, absolute destroying the league as expected. And he is still wanted by a few clubs, only Nice from Europe and a few clubs from Saudi and Qatar. And as you can see, Chekna Demba has broken the Mali record for most goals, gaining his 70th goal. And if you look at it now, it's 64 caps, 72 goals for Mali, which is the most outrageous things I've ever seen in my life. Another season and Frank finally started a few games, only nine, and the, the price has gone up. 284... The, what the hell, Manchester City? You've spent nearly 300 million on a player who's only started about 10 games. I, I actually can't believe this. They've ruined his career. And Frank has also broken the Gabon record for most goals, scoring 37, which is brilliant. Chekna decided to stay at Rene's 21 goals, one assist, another fantastic season from him. And he is wanted by PSG and Inter Milan still. And now his caps, 72 caps, 83 goals. This guy is actually a cheat code. What is this? Chekna Demba was also announced as the Mali captain, which is brilliant. And Demba did get third top scorer for Mali in the AFCON, which South Africa won. Okay, a different winner this time. Pedro stayed in the UAE again and destroyed it again. Still wanted by a few clubs, but I just think he's happy there, oh. Another season done and Pedro's moved. Um, That has surprised me. Pedro has moved to PSG for 13.5 million and scored 26 goals in 28 appearances in the league. A fantastic season from him. And Chechnya scored 23 with an average rating of 7.45 for Rene's. And Pedro bet Demba in the top scorer charts. Wow. Did not expect that coming. PSG won the title with Rene sitting in second. And Frank, I mean, this is this is actually outrageous. This is, oh, hold on. I've got to calculate this. This is disgusting. Three seasons at Manchester City signed for £284 million. And he has made a total, a whopping total of 22 starts for Manchester City. Every start has cost them over 10 mil. That is outrageous. And they're also paying him nearly 400k a week to sit on the bench. I don't know why he's happy here, to be honest. And it's another season no transfers have been made. Pedro having another fantastic season for PSG. 19 goals, 7 assists. Chekna, oh, that's actually a bit low for Chekna. 14 goals, 3 assists. Oh, he actually made decent... Oh, fantastic. He made 12 league starts. Oh, come on. Money well spent. How can you start this guy 12 times and he's scoring 11 goals, 5 assists? I don't believe it. They've actually... This guy... He signed a new contract. He's on 500k now. This guy would have won a Ballon d'Or. I'm just so certain. Certain. But he moved to Man City and they ruined him. And it's World Cup year and we do have someone. I was about to say we don't have someone. Mali have qualified for the World Cup in Group L. And Tuzak on Seneca won it. And Demba, for like the first time ever, is not in the top three top scorers. That is surprising. And Mali did qualify out of their group, finishing in third. But unfortunately lost 2-0 to France. And that sucks. But unfortunately they are out. But at least they made it out of their group. That's fantastic. But another season done. Pedro having a good season in PSG Colours. Chekna again having another good season for Rene's. And Frank playing half the games. <laughs> I just... Oh man, Frank, you were the chosen one. Oh man, that is heartbreaking. And still no transfers, but look at Frank's current ability. Oh no, oh no, it's gone down so much. It's heartbreaking. Pedro, another good season, 13 goals, three assists. Chekna, oh, a very good season, 25 goals, average rating of 7.61. Disgusting season. And Frank playing... I just don't get it. I don't get how he's not starting games. It's outrageous. Man City are a disgrace. 
But we actually have news. Frank has finally transfer listed himself. About time. It'll be interesting to see where he moves. I mean, he's got maybe one last dance in Europe to win the Ballon d'Or. Please, Frank, please do it for me. Just an update. Uh, Demba hit 100 goals for Mali. Uh, 89 caps, 100 goals. Fantastic. He also won the top scorer for this year, which is not a surprise. And in AFCON, Ivory Coast won, and none of our players got on the top three scorers. I'm heartbroken. And Frank didn't bloody leave. <laughs> Frank, no. His transfer didn't work, but he is joining. On the end of the contract, he's going to Saudi. Oh, Man City, you ruined a baller. That is all your fault. Chekner, yeah, he's starting to fall apart now. Only 13 goals. That's not good enough, Timber. No one's going to win the Ballon d'Or. I can't get any of my Wonder Kids to win one. It is frustrating. And Pedro, still having a good season at PSG, but obviously as they get older, their performances are going to drop. They are 33. They're getting very old. Only a few more years left of our African Wonder Kids. And Pedro ended up moving to Saudi Arabia, having a good season for 12 million. Chechnya still at Rene's, still doing well at Rene's as well. He's, he's, he's been such a servant. I mean, if he's not a club legend, I'm going to be questioning this. How is this guy only favoured personnel? That's a disgrace. The disrespect. Frank obviously moved to Saudi Arabia. And look what he could do. 26 goals, 15 assists, and 34 appearances. It is just stupidly disgusting. But unfortunately, there's going to be no Ballon d'Or here. And Mali are in the World Cup again. Back-to-back -back World Cup appearances. But again, they're the only team that are in the World Cup. It's un really unfortunate. They did make it out of their group, which is beautiful, finishing in third. But unfortunately, they lost to fellow African nation Nigeria, which is unfortunate. They're out of the World Cup. And Frank has retired after one season in Saudi Arabia. Our first player to retire. And it is absolutely heartbreaking. He managed to get 251 goals and 513 appearances for seven clubs in his career. Winning 11 personal medals and 12 team trophies. 87 goals and 112 appearances for Gabon, which is fantastic. But again, the Man City, I will never forgive you. Chechnya is still going strong. A fantastic season for Rene's. 19 goals, 10 assists. And Pedro has also had a decent season, but not up to the level we expect of him. 16 goals is not bad, though. Low average rating, but he has 121 current ability, and he is going to be retiring just around the corner. So as you can see, Lemos is retiring. Another season, 15 goals for the Saudi club. His career is ending with 249 goals, 57 assists, and 483 appearances for his career. And it's sad to see him go. Man City are getting... You know what? Man City killed him as well. He was fantastic at Mets where he could really flourish. Man City killed two of our players. I will generally will never forgive them. Demba having another fantastic season. He isn't retiring yet. And believe it or not, 151 current ability at 36 is actually incredible. Fun fact, I forgot to mention that uh, Demba's uh, like 208 centimeters. So like he's pretty tall, eh? <laughs> I forgot to mention that. And the day has come. Demba is retiring at 144 current ability as well. He really kept that up. Demba, yeah. Yeah, it's time to call it a day. Only nine goals and three assists. That is horrendously bad for his standards. 37-year-old, unfortunately, is retiring. And not one of our players got even nominated for the Ballon d'Or in the top three. Really heartbreaking stuff here. Luckily, Man City did not ruin his career. They tried three seasons in a row where he did not feature. They tried to ruin his career as well. They ruined the other two players. Luckily for us, Chechnya... Found home at Rene's and really did well, but unfortunately not well enough to get a Ballon d'Or. In terms of his career stats, 280 goals, 51 assists, 523 appearances. And of course, he reached a century of goals for Mali, which is obviously a nation record. And I don't think that will be changing for a enormously long time. And that is going to be the end of this video, unfortunately. None of our players reached the summit of the Ballon d'Or. We could not give Africa a second Ballon d'Or in the continent's history. It is heartbreaking stuff, and I did my best. But we can all, we all know who's to blame. Manchester City ruined it. But I hope you all enjoyed. Like, subscribe if you did, and I'll see you boys in the next FM experiment. Plenty more to come, and plenty more chances to maybe get someone to win a bloody Ballon d'Or.